Hello to all the regular and semi-regular viewers of the Under the Mayo channel. I am making this video to go over my current plans for the future of this channel. I'll start with the big one, Doom. Will there be any more Doom content? Yes, of course. I have a few ideas for some topics bouncing around in my mind, I'll get to them here and there, and of course when the next id software game comes out I'll most likely be all over it. But my main focus of design analysis and weapon strategy has come to a close. And it feels good to cap off two years of Doom Eternal with a big Tag 2 retrospective and a final podcast episode. So occasionally I'll do something on Doom if the right topic hits me, but other than that I'll be focusing on other things. As this channel has continued to grow, I've been getting approached by more and more indie devs that send me their games. They don't always do this looking for me to make a video, a lot of times it's just to check it out or even give some feedback directly. This, combined with the games that people have gifted me, has led to a bloated Steam library full of games, the majority of which I'll probably just think are okay to fine and not have much to say about. But now that Doom has been winding down, I've enjoyed going through this list and finally getting to some more games that people have been asking me to check out. That means my Everyone Told Me To Play series will continue. It's one of my favorite things to do here, and I hope that people continue to enjoy it. There are so many recommendations I want to get to. DMC3, Soma, Metal Gear Rising, Vanquish, Paratopic, Lost in Vivo, Yakuza 0, Undertale, I gotta finally play Red Dead Redemption 2. I really like playing different games for this series because I don't really care if I enjoy it or not. I just like seeing what the games are like and what people like about them. Lately I've done a lot of coverage of Sifu and Shadow Warrior 3 because these are games that I really like and there's been a good amount to talk about. But generally these are videos that don't get the greatest number of views and I want to talk about that a bit. I'm aware that the big traffic days of the Doom Eternal boom are behind me, and I know that I could force myself to make more Doom videos or target other videos towards specific trends, but I really don't want to do that. If I'm not interested and happy with what I'm covering, I don't want to do this. And I think those of you who actually appreciate the way I approach topics on this channel really wouldn't appreciate me making things insincerely. I also know that focusing on certain kinds of videos, mainly larger reviews, would lead to more consistent traffic. I just can't stop making these other little videos, you know? This channel started off as a Mortal Kombat tutorial and strategy channel. I like making those little videos about a specific technique or a character guide for Streets of Rage. It's fun to me, and if a lot of people only come around for the larger projects, that's fine. I'm okay with settling into being a niche channel. Sure, I'll cover a big game here and there, like a Cyberpunk or a Halo Infinite when everyone is talking about it, but that's because I'm genuinely curious to see how they are. But I am pretty much done with those two games, Shadow Warrior 3 and Sifu. I may cover the next Sifu update in a few months, and I have an idea for a general tutorial, but other than that, I'm ready to move on. And I'm hoping for good things. This year has been great so far. Outside of Sifu, it's been mostly shooters, but that's okay. And I know that negative videos get more views, so I'll address that real quick. That's an unfortunate side of this business. We all do it. Just a few weeks ago, I clicked on a video about why the new Sabrina the Teenage Witch show is so bad. And I don't even watch that show. But I never would have clicked on a video about why that show is great. There's a natural curiosity in all of us that's attracted to disaster, and those negative feelings are addictive. I don't want to open a game expecting to be negative. I'm quite critical, yes, and I try my best to differentiate between something that's just not to my personal liking, like Sekiro, and something that I think is straight up bad, like Deathloop. But I value a great game experience way more than higher views on a negative video. My extremely negative videos on Resident Evil Village and God of War 2018 are some of my highest viewed videos, and I promise you that I would trade that in a heartbeat for a Resident Evil and God of War game that I actually love to play, and whose videos got a fraction of the views. I don't like being miserable. That being said, I will lean into the negativity of a video if that's how I sincerely feel. I'm playing the YouTube game like everyone else. If I'm furious about how Slowclap handled their first Sifu update, I will make a big eye-catching negative thumbnail to draw attention to it. It won't be all the time, but yeah. Some of you have seen that I've been getting some sponsored video deals lately. Publishers are reaching out and asking me to talk about their early access games or demos, and I'm totally fine with that. 
I tell every one of them that I have to play the game first, and if I like it, I'll consider it. I have made it clear that I am not doing videos on games I don't personally enjoy. I will not do straight up fluff pieces. I insist on including my criticisms, concerns, and suggestions, because this is an analysis channel above everything else. If the sponsor isn't okay with me including those things, then I reject the deal, simple as that. But I want to say no judgment to any other channel that does not function that way. Fortunately, I'm in a position where I can say no to a sponsored deal if I'm not okay with it, and I can still keep the lights on. And on that topic of covering games and criticizing, I think it's brought nothing but good things covering games this way, sponsored or not. I had a lot of little criticisms and notes about Forgive Me Father last year, and they actually addressed all of it in the final release. My feedback on Shadow Warrior 3 and Turbo Overkill was taken into consideration and applied as well. And I gotta say, it feels really good. I never expected to be in this position where I can actually make a positive difference. I will continue pushing for player accountability and creative incentive in our games, and I want to thank all of you who are with me in that struggle. Maybe we're actually winning this fight, on a smaller level at least. It may be a niche topic, but it has large implications on how people experience their games. Most people aren't focusing on this stuff when they play, but they can feel it. What else? What else? Mayo Movie Club will continue as well. I like doing that series, I'm trying to keep it to once every two months. I appreciate your suggestions, and I really like doing something special for the dedicated viewers. That series is for you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. I get asked if I'm gonna do more movie-focused videos, and really, I wouldn't expect much. I like to do them from time to time, but analyzing a movie, for me, is a thousand times harder than analyzing game design. Robocop was a special case. Just because I also love Total Recall doesn't mean I know how to do an equally big video on it. But when something comes out and I have something to say, I'll do it. Sometimes I upload those thoughts to my second channel, Residual Mayo, so make sure you follow me there. YouTube recently introduced a new feature called Super Thanks, which is basically a tipping feature. If you like a specific video that I do, you can click Thanks and it gives a few tipping options and you can leave a featured comment. It's nice, so if you want to show some love, you can do it. There's also my Patreon, if you'd like to consider a monthly donation. Thank you to all you guys who have been supporting me there for like two years now. And there's the merch store, of course. I don't have any new merch, but I have some ideas. And monthly YouTube memberships are available too. I want to thank everyone for sticking with me as time goes on. I plan to keep going forward with this channel, covering whatever comes to my mind. I appreciate all of you, even those who disagree with a lot of what I say. This has been an interesting experience to say the least.